how much do you think it would cost to build a custom tool, like a pipe wrench like this one on a Mark Forged printer? Now this thing has removable jaws, so it can be completely customized. It's a bit over a foot long. It's made of nylon with a chopped carbon fiber, so it's crazy light and strong. If you had just one printer, how long do you think it would take to print? And how much do you think it would cost in material? I mean, if an off-the-shelf $20 tool would do the job, you'd never even consider printing one. But I'm talking about a situation where you need a tool or a part that's completely custom. Super lightweight. Maybe you need to use it overhead all day long out on the line. It's built to do exactly what you need with no compromise. How much do you have to spend? Is this one of those, if you have to ask, you can't afford it situations? I mean, I bet if you had a few reference parts to compare against, you'd probably get a lot closer on your guess. So let me show you how much a few other things cost first. We'll circle back around to this part in just a bit. So I picked out a few common objects that your gut will relate to and priced them out so you'll have some reference points to compare against. The prices and times I'm showing you represent the entire process to build finished parts, including any relevant support structures, cleanup, etc. Now let's start with the object of universal scaling, the banana. <laughs> Imagine if you took a part like this and walked into a machine shop and you asked them to build this part with next day turnaround. I mean, most of us would never even consider designing a part like a banana, but when you're working in tight spaces or you need a part that's ergonomic, it needs to look organic and complex. So printing is the perfect solution. So let's start simple with Onyx, which is a nylon six with chopped carbon fiber inside it to add to the stiffness. You can print Onyx on any Mark Forge printer you buy, and this part would print in a day for about 32 bucks. No way you're gonna beat that with traditional manufacturing like machining. Now if the parts need to be structural, like say the, the strength and stiffness of aluminum, we could wrap the entire part with a couple of layers of continuous carbon fiber reinforcement to create basically a carbon fiber tube. There are a few different strategies for distributing the fiber, and I'll show you a few of those other ones soon, but this strategy was gonna add a ton of strength and almost nothing to the print time. It does make it a bit more expensive though at $122. Now, if you need a virtually indestructible banana, how about building one completely out of stainless steel? It'll cost $312, and it'll take over a week to get it built, but I can't imagine you're gonna need more than one stainless steel banana. Notice that a good chunk of the cost here on this part is the supports. It builds a raft to hold the banana in the oven so that when the center process happens, it shrinks uniformly. And it creates a ceramic layer between the part and the supports, so separating it from the support is easy. There's no post-processing, you don't have to cut anything, you just maybe sand it a little bit if you're worried about the surface finish. Let's go a little smaller. How about an Oreo cookie? Now 3D printers are fantastic to have around for little adapter plates, fittings, brackets. You just can't beat same day delivery on small custom parts. For a simple Onyx part like this, you can print the entire thing in just a couple of hours and for under a couple bucks. Think about that the next time a small part breaks out in the shop and shuts down, line down and you've got MacGyver out there with duct tape and zip ties trying to get the thing working again. Now if you need a stronger and stiffer part, we can make this a carbon fiber sandwich cookie similar to what you see in a lot of aircraft panels. We'll put four layers of solid carbon fiber continuous strands oriented at 45 degrees to each other to create a basically a composite weave. Now this could easily replace an aluminum part in terms of strength and stiffness. But if you need something really beefy, you could print it on the Metal X out of that 17-4 stainless. It would take a couple of days to get through the entire process. Most of that's the, the wash and the oven. But the result is amazing. It's a completely custom, very detailed part in stainless steel for about 20 bucks. I usually spend more than 20 minutes searching for a plumbing fitting at Lowe's when I'm working on a project. And even then, I usually end up spending 20 bucks buying a couple of fittings just to get the job done. It's amazing how useful a metal printer is to have around on a shop floor. So now it's time to go big. And since our current oven platform is about the size of a loaf of bread, I thought, let's bake a loaf of bread. I mean, it's basically a solid block, so this isn't exactly a useful design as it is. Imagine if this was a tool organizer or a manifold block or a sign for your front door. To print this bad boy in Onyx takes most of a week, so plan on kicking off for the weekend to print but at 257 bucks and with no penalty for detail or complexity, that really isn't all that bad. Now for a more structural version, 
I went with a top and bottom layer of carbon fiber, but I used more layers than I did on the smaller cookie, and the price jumps to about $618. But for a part this fat and beefy, I doubt carbon fiber would even be necessary. But the prize for the biggest, most expensive thing I could print goes to this H13 tool steel loaf of bread at $1,200. Now, let's take a moment to consider what you're getting here with that $1,200. This is a part with almost no manufacturing constraints. Rules like the whole size to depth ratio, uh, creating square internal corners or hollow interiors or restricting undercuts, they really don't apply here. Also, it's a sparse fill part. So it's lighter than typical parts, so it's safer to workers to carry around the shop if they need to do that. In fact, you could even design in a handle without adding a bunch of cost to the design. It's made of tool steel, so it's extremely hard and wear resistant. And there's very minimal material waste, especially compared to something like a subtractive machining process. That $1,200 price tag is starting to look better all the time. Now, all of these options are easy to view in Iger. You can upload and configure your print and collect details like price and time before committing to build anything. And this software is free so everyone can get involved and find the best approach to printing and building a particular part. Keep in mind, these are just a few examples. I made a lot of assumptions here in how these parts are built. There's a lot of variables that can be adjusted to suit your specific needs. For example, the Oreo could be built in Onyx in 45 minutes for as cheap as $1.40. But if you take that to the other extreme and make a solid Oreo packed completely full of carbon fiber, it takes over three hours and costs almost $30. That's a pretty big range of prices and times. Now, fun fact, Iger actually warns you that this is a bad idea, but I don't think Iger fully understands how cool it would be to have an almost indestructible carbon fiber cookie. There's a lot of other options for materials and reinforcements, so although your mileage may vary, hopefully now you'll be able to use your gut and look around for situations where having a Mark Forged 3D printer would help your company do more with less. So with those prices as a reference, what do you think this thing costs? You think it's about, I don't know, two bananas worth? I mean, Onyx bananas are $32. Turns out this thing's 70, and it only takes about a day and a half to print on a single printer. I mean, look around you. These parts like this are everywhere. Think about the thing that you're dreading to even get quoted because you know it's going to be expensive or the thing you're having to beg people to build because it's a one-off part. Did you know the ROI on a typical Mark Forged printer is about two months? After that, you're building parts for the cost of material alone. And these aren't toys. These are strong end-use parts. If you want to learn more, please visit our website at mlc-cad.com or give us a call. and ask the machine shop if they would build this with next day turnaround. Most of us would never even consider designing a part like this. But when you're working in tight spaces, where you need a part that's ergonomic, it needs to look organic and complex. So printing is perfect. Now, let's start with simple onyx. It's a nylon six with chopped carbon fiber inside it to add to the stiffness. You can print onyx on any Mark Forge printer you buy. This part would print in about a day for about 32 bucks. No way you're going to beat that with traditional manufacturing. If the part needs to be structural, say like aluminum, we could wrap this part with a couple layers of continuous carbon fiber reinforcement. It's quite basically like a carbon fiber tube. There's a lot of different strategies for distributing the fiber in the parts. I'm going to show you a few more in a minute. It adds a ton of strength to the part. It doesn't really take longer to print, but it makes it more expensive, 122 bucks. But if you need a banana that's almost indestructible, make one out of stainless steel for 312 bucks. It takes about a week to make it, but I can't imagine you're going to need more than one stainless steel banana. And notice, most of the cost here is, is involved in the structure support. So when you print that ceramic layer, in between the part and the support comes right off. You don't have to grind it or anything. Maybe sand it a little bit or something like that. Now let's go smaller with an Oreo cookie. 3D printers are fantastic to have around for things like little adapter plates, fittings, brackets. You just can't beat same day delivery on custom small parts. For a simple honest part, I think the entire thing in a couple of hours for a couple bucks. 
Think about that the next time something breaks out in the shop and you need to get out there like MacGyver. Fix the thing with duct tape and zip tie. You make a part with carbon fiber too. And like an aircraft panel where it's got like composites top and bottom. Put the layers at a 45 degree angle. Quick composite weave. Mm. I'm like a super strong cookie. But if we really want to go big, go with something like a stainless steel cookie. About 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a stainless steel Oreo cookie. I can't spend less than $20 when I walk into Lowe's. Let alone something that looks like that. Now, if you want to go big or go home, that's when you need to do a loaf of bread. Right? 